Look at that, a shipping port with ships that run on oil, carrying an ocean of oil. Oil that has been powering countries, running factories and powering our homes here in Singapore. But with renewable energy on the rise, is the oil industry dead? Today, we will talk about the oil industry. Hey investors, welcome to The Market Talk. I'm Ali, your humble graduate from WIA. I love investing. I love looking at the market, studying trends in the various industries, and today, I will be talking about the oil industry. So oil has been getting a bad rap recently with all this talk about CO2 emissions, global warming, and oil spills in the ocean killing marine life. Furthermore, there has been a huge gust of wind sweeping in the renewable energy market. But is the legacy of oil truly dead? Are there any industries that still survive on oil? Today, we look at the slump in the oil industry stocks and if there are any cigarette butt stocks, as Benjamin Graham used to say, that we can pick up. So let's start off by looking at the industry today. Firstly, is it actually safe to say that the demand of oil has been falling in the past few years? According to this chart from Statista.com, the daily demand for barrels of oil has actually increased in the past 15 years. A big reason for this is that developing countries need oil, especially those that are growing economies that need that power supply. And for a little country like ours in Singapore, oil seems to be a crucial factor for our survival. However, COVID-19 has complicated matters a little, especially for those industries that relied heavily on oil and then suddenly had to close down, they may see a big dip in the oil demand. Manufacturing and the air industry, for example. I'll talk more about this in a while. So according to a report by IEA, which is the International Energy Agency, the world saw a 90,000 barrel per day drop in demand. That's huge. With the COVID-19 not fully in control, the IEA predicts that demand will remain weak and will probably not grow at the same rate it did for the past 15 years. However, the demand for oil will still grow at a small pace. So, the industry has been growing for the past 15 years, and there is still a demand for oil in the next 15 years. What about oil stocks? How did they fare in the past year? Let's start by looking at some indexes. The Dow Jones US Oil & Gas Total Stock Market Index did see a growth in the past year from a stock price of $2,000 to $4,000. But it is nowhere near its past highs of $6,000. When we look at another indicator, we see some growth too. Let's turn to yahoo.com. They have an oil and gas stocks watch list. It lists 30 stocks and some in this list are the largest publicly traded oil and gas companies. This list includes ExxonMobil Corporation, Royal Dutch Shell, BP, ConocoPhillips, and many others. So if we look at this list, and let's just imagine that you had bought stocks in this list, the one-year return of these 30 stocks has been 64.26%. So if you had picked the largest players and just stayed with them from their low last year till now, you would have seen a handsome profit. So by looking at the indices and the watch list, we can see that all those news of doom and gloom in the oil and gas industry is not really what it seems to be. Especially when you know which companies to buy or if you are generally investing in the largest oil stocks. So what now? Well, for starters, you can start looking at the major players and calculate if their stocks have reached their new highs or maybe if you dig deep enough, you may find that some companies are only starting their climb in the stock market. Another way at looking at oil and gas companies are by considering their dividend yields. ExxonMobil gives a 7.27% yield as of March 2021, and Chevron has a 5.6% dividend yield. The companies are also the ones that you would consider the dividend kings with a steady straight record spanning decades. You can also consider some companies close to home. Like for example, China Aviation Oil, CAO. They are the largest suppliers of jet fuel in the major cities in China and around the world. So basically what they do is they station themselves in the airport, 
they are the ones that will finally provide that fuel to the plane. But they also have some factories and some refineries producing that oil. Now, I know you may be saying that air travel is dead now, but is it really? Is it not going to pick up in the future? Is it not going to boom in the future? And more importantly, don't airplanes run only on oil? Right now, airplanes do not run on batteries, at least for the large planes that we know of. So the moment that air travel picks up, we know that companies that are associated to the oil industry will see a pickup in their revenue. So let's conclude. Firstly, don't focus on the doom and gloom in the news and maybe do a little bit of research. Clearly, from the data I have shown you, the oil industry may be in turmoil, but it has delivered a stellar return from its low since last year. But this is also granted you knew where to go looking. The demand for oil is not going to diminish in the near future as renewables just hasn't caught up yet. Secondly, instead of looking directly at oil companies, you can also look for the affiliate and complement companies. There may be some low price companies out there that are a diamond in the rough waiting to be found. I know, I know, some of you may be having a moral obligation and say that, hey, let's not support this oil industries because of CO2 and global warming and such. But do remember that oil is not just for ships and the planes and the countries, but we do use oil for plastic, which we make food packaging out of and sometimes even health devices. So oil is still needed and in some industries, it is absolutely, absolutely relevant. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button and more importantly, write down your comments in the comment section about the oil industry. Which companies have you found that you think are a great investment to make and that has given you a good return? Share that with me and I will write my comments as well too. See you everybody in the next video.